Hello everyone, welcome to SMDC Commando. Today we are going to learn about multi language in Salesforce. So it's very easy to uh, enable the multi language. Yeah. So as you can see here, I have just categorized into into the three steps. So if you follow this three step, definitely you will able to enable the multi language. Yeah. So what are those steps? So first step is like uh, you have to go to the setting of the quick find and there you will get the enable and user language. Then uh, there you will get another option called enable platform only language. Then what you have to do is once you enable all, then you have to add those available languages into one drop down. So don't worry, uh, I'll just take you through all the practical or the demo session. Just I have listed, listed down all the steps so that uh, you will get the idea how we can do that. And the second step is go to the translation language setting uh, using your quick find and enable the translation workbench. This also I will show you. And the third step would be and the final step would be open any user record or your reco uh, user record and update the language as Spanish or any language whichever you are going to convert. Uh, so while doing all this we have some country consideration we will talk about that as well. So what we can do now is like uh, we will just go to the our Salesforce environment whether it is your developer sandbox or sandbox yeah. So we will do all this here. So whatever I have mentioned this demo step. I'll just take you through because I don't want to waste much time on the theory part. But yeah, I'll just highlight those theory while doing the our demo. So let's jump into the demo session. So here uh, you can see like already I have logged into my developer sandbox. Yeah. So what you have to do is you have to go to your quick find and type there called like language. The first step which I've just mentioned. Yeah. So if you see here, you will get the option called language setting. So once you click here, you will get two options called enable end user languages. So this is like default language which Salesforce provides us. Yeah, uh, I'll just explain you later once uh, we'll sh show you the UI. And the second one is like enable platform language only. And no default translation are provided for plat platform only language. I'll explain you both don't worry so you can see uh, which all languages support uh, comes under these two category so i'll take one example here of spanish language of the first one and the second one i'll take the hindi language and i'll just try to show you how to convert that so once this all available language comes here then you have to select all and add into this part and save it so this would be your first step so once you are done then here uh, you can see another option is there under the translation workbench go there that is our second step and here we'll get an option to enable this so just enable the same yeah so once you enable you will get the add option or the already available list from the salesforce so if you feel that whatever you are gonna do those lists are coming here then uh, just go to the edit so in my demo i'll just going to use spanish and hindi so i'll just go and activate this for now yeah but if you feel like these lists are not uh, good enough for you or you are looking for different language then you can come here add and select your language from this list so here you can see all the languages are coming so for my demo session i'll use two as i say yeah so this would be your second step and the third step would be you have to go to your uh, setting yeah and uh, here you have the option called language and time zone you can select the language here as spanish yeah epsilon so that is the spanish language and save it so the moment you save, you can see the differences now. Yeah. So all the app name, then uh, the tab, 
whatever the tab you have this got changed automatically yeah so this is like uh, how it got changed no uh, so if you see here already i have mentioned some consideration here like uh, salesforce out of box uh, so whatever the salesforce out of box is there uh, it will get converted for example you have the tab name uh, then it will get converted but there is a catch so if you have created the new tab from the custom object that tab will be not converted that is something you have to convert convert with the your language but if it is the standard object it will change automatically if you see here these all are like standard object and it got changed yeah and the second one is like if you go to the standard object field and value that will also change i'll just take you through one of the opportunity or account okay yeah so here is my one account yeah so if you see uh, the all standard field uh, is changed here if you see the value everything is changed now again i'll just mention that like uh, if you have the custom object custom field custom label constant value in the apex and ui pick list value validation error message and many more for those definitely you have to convert that into your own language suppose i am creating the spanish so you have to convert now the thing is how to do that so i'll just show you that part so let me go back to the language and change it to english and save it yeah and just refresh this so this got changed to your english language back now i'll just show you to how you can add the sum of the validation error and display on the uil spanish so again the same you have to do is the third step is translate yeah so under translation workbench you have the option called translate click here yeah so once you click here you will get the language selection so select the spanish and what you want to do you want to use the validation error message where on account so for the saving the time already i just converted this and uh, converted this value uh, into spanish and added here so either you can use the google translator and just copy paste and save this so once you save what you can do again you go back and change the language from english to spanish and save this so once you save it will change yeah so now what you have to do go back to the same account just refresh it it will change so my validation is like if i go to the account detail and change the number of employees less than five then it will throw the error saying that you can't have the uh, number of implies less than four so if you see this got converted into spanish now i'll do the same i'll add uh, the same message into hindi yeah and show you how that ui will look like because while translating into the hindi by default salesforce won't give all this uh, app name change not only app the tab name change as well but if you have the standard language called spanish french and all those language supported by salesforce so by default salesforce will change all the standard feature automatically but in case some lo local language or other country language something that you have to translate manually so i'll just show you that part as well quickly so let me go back to the system and change the language back to english save this yeah or uh, not english let's change back to okay i'll just show you how to add the same into hindi so translate go back to the translate only and select the language called hindi 
so here if you see the validation error message is same now already i had just converted into hindi into uh, this message to our hindi language yeah so once you are done again go back to your uh, current user uh, language change and change to hindi is fine for hindi hindi yeah so here we are save it so once you save you can observe that this all only change so whatever the value you are changing here uh, uh, means changing into hindi is these all are like setup or platform only so if you see the second option is like whenever you enable the platform only language then it will just change the uh, platform only language so no default translation are provided for platform only change with so here you can see there is nothing change yeah so is coming as lead is coming as leads only task is coming as task but if you change into in, in, from english to spanish it will change automatically but from english to hindi it won't change automatically something that is something you have to translate so uh, once this is done i'll just simply go to the same account and try to save this so this message will change into hindi so this is how translation work so now you could have seen how easy to configure the multi language into salesforce hope this video is helpful for you and we'll meet you on uh, next video